An estimated 247 million people were infected with malaria in 2021. Most of the victims were children under five. They accounted for nearly 80% of all malaria deaths in the WHO African region. Diagnosis of malaria is actually pretty simple. There's a, over a hundred year old technique that involves smearing red blood cells on a glass slide and then staining them. And then one just looks at it with your eyes under a microscope. No one can do it for long stretches of time without a lot of mental fatigue and invariably human mistakes start to creep in. We all understood how terrible of a disease malaria is. Uh, it kills so many people around the world especially children. And so the genesis of this idea really came from, wow, this really sucks, can we do better? We've built an AI-driven, low-cost microscope to diagnose malaria that doesn't get tired. It's trained on millions and millions of parasites that can do it much faster and better than any human ever will, which would help people get the effective medications they need faster when they're infected. The process begins with a simple finger prick in which a drop of blood is extracted. This blood is then added to a specialized little consumable flow cell. The blood then flows through this flow cell over a objective inside the microscope. And so what the microscope is doing is watching live red blood cells flow across its field of view to automatically recognize red blood cells that are infected with parasites. And it can do it at incredible rates, two million cells in just 12 minutes. In 2022, we shipped these microscopes here, but there was a lot of problems that had to be solved. In fact, when we first submitted the research paper, some editors said, there's no way this is applicable to the real world, but this team, they made it happen. This remoscope has quite a lot of advantages. We will be able to avoid things like stains, which are very expensive. We will also be able to save time. The conventional method, the minimum time you can give someone, the result is one hour. That's still too much compared to the time this machine gives us the results. Because if someone is highly parasitemic, in one or two minutes you already have the result. Then the challenge becomes how to make the flow cell, the, which is the disposable cartridge that the machine consumes for every test, as cheap as possible. I pushed the team to figure out a way to do that here in-house. Then we knew we had a path to do something low cost. Most other places that do biomedical research, they, they do not have engineers in-house whose only mission is to create instrumentation. We do, so the biologists can think, is there some special machine that will help with this? And they can come ask us and we, we can make it a reality. Really clear new model is doing much better than the previous model. It has really improved our performance. Yeah. Our team has results for our clinical study in Uganda. Here we have a comparison of remoscope malaria diagnostic results relative to microscopy, which is the gold standard. So it indicates that we're performing well and giving correct diagnoses. And I think that's, that's a result that we, that's kind of beyond our wildest dreams. We're very, very optimistic that with further improvements, perhaps soon we'll be able to beat the gold standard.